that in the 5% of carnivores that I'm seeing, I don't know if you're seeing a different percentage, but if they have an A1C that's a little bit elevated and they're like, what's going on here? The test I recommend is a fructosamine. Hmm. But the fructosamine, even though fructo is in the name, it checks only for glucose glycation. Uh, it looks for the, the glucose lysine bond, I think is what it actually looks for. And invariably, every time a carnivore gets a fructosamine check, it's within normal limits. Mm, uh, so verifying, verifying that they are not overly glycating. It's just that their red blood cells almost certainly are living longer because of their healthier diet. And I, I want to dig into that a little bit. To my knowledge, there is no commercially available test that a doctor can order that checks for fructation or fructose glycation. And this concerns me because there are many doctors out there who are recommending to their patients, eat lots of fruits and vegetables. And you know what the patient's going to focus on, the one that tastes better and the oh, one yeah. that they don't hate, which is fruit. And so they wind up living on fruit juice smoothies. But when you check an A1C, you don't, you don't see reflected. You don't. That fructose glycation. And I, 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 want, I want to reiterate a point you said earlier, which is super important because a lot of people, if you're not a doctor or a PhD, you just think, oh, well, uh, glucose just glycates hemoglobin, right, in the red blood cell. That's, that's what it does. That's the bad thing that it does. But Professor Bickman is very clear. It glycates every cell in your body, the cells in the nephron of the kidney, the cells in your heart, your cardio myocytes, literally every cell in your body is also being glycated. We just use the glycation of the hemoglobin molecule, the A1C, as a proxy marker yep. for all this other dangerous glycation that's going on in the human body. You opened my eyes to this. Um, so, so we know that fructose is much more reactive than glucose, which makes yeah. this part of the conversation all the more relevant. As much as we focus on glucose, and, and rightly so, fructose can induce glycation seven times more readily than glucose can. And, and thus, I think it is uh, much more relevant. This is a non-enzymatic glycation. This is does not require an enzyme. This is not a pathway. This is just a function of basically how much fructose is in your bloodstream the, the higher the level, the more the glycation is going to yeah. be. Is that correct? And there's no there's no clinical test to, to answer the question. No, unfortunately, there's no way to do yeah. it. So basically, people who are living on fruit juice smoothies are eating hundreds of grams of carbohydrates in fruit or fruit juice per day. There's currently uh, all healthcare providers are blind to the fructose yeah. glycation. You cannot detect it. Yeah, that's right. In fact, I would say, Ken, at the risk, just to give some answer, if perhaps the closest a person could come to understanding their fructation or the degree of fructose induced glycation, it would probably be uric acid just as a surrogate marker because uric acid just runs so tightly with fructose metabolism, which itself, of course, is a product of fructose consumption. So yeah, probably the closest we can get is getting a uric acid marker.